Hi, Kerry here again with uh, Best of Us Investors. I'm a retired financial advisor, and in my retirement, I've gotten involved with uh, long-term investing. I'm particularly interested in the genome um, because of my family's propensity for cancer. I've learned that we have 30 trillion cells in our body. In, in my mind, I think of a cell as a uh, a ball uh, that's floating around in my body, in my bloodstream, in, in the, the meat of my body, whatever. And those cells contain my DNA uh, and, and my genome, my, the map of my body. And last month I had, I got the flu. And my understanding of that is that um, a virus, the flu virus, attacked my cells and they needed uh, a cure. It, we have antibodies. The doctor um, gave me a prescription, and I took it for a month, and the, the flu went away. Um, I think it was thermoflu is what I took. And if I had not had that antibody, uh, I either would have had to gut it out or I would have died. So what happens is the antibody comes to the cells in my body, identifies the flu virus, and then kills it. And that's kind of how it works. Now, what's happening now is if you can imagine that we are developing um, the ability to, to basically see what's happening through genome sequencing and protein sequencing and DNA sequencing in each and every one of these cells. Um, and that is happening through the use of CRISPR. And so we have companies like CRISPR and Editus and Caribou and Mammoth who are all developing ther uh, therapies and, uh, and edits to take these diseases out of our bodies. So I see that, and I've quite often paralleled that to the invention of the Internet. Well, I got to thinking, if all these people are able to do this, who's going to manage it? And, and I put that in perspective, and I said, how did we go from the Internet and a computer, and how did we get to the managing it and making it so that I could use it and that we could all benefit from it. Well, that was Microsoft. Okay, so now we're in this move away from the digital revolution to the medical revolution, and who is going to manage all this data that is coming out of my body and your body and billions of other people's body? Who's going to manage that? And can I find the company? Well, I think I have. And that's what this video is going to be about, the research that I did and what I think I have discovered as the, the Microsoft of the medical revolution and what they're going to have to be able to present to us. Now, this is not financial advice. This is Kerry's research uh, and with the help of Carrie's tribe, Best of Us Investors. That's what I'm going to talk about today. I hope you find it educational, informative, and maybe even profitable. Be right back. Best of Us Investors presents Carrie Griegmeier. Okay, I drive a, a BMW, and um, I don't know how many BMWs there are that have the ability to, to speak to BMW maintenance, because sometimes I get a, a, a warning or a, a email that says, bring your car in, you have a problem. Um, so in essence, they know who I am. They, they have a database that compares my BMW to all the other BMWs, and they have a software 
then that notifies me that something's wrong. That's what I think is going to happen in the medical world as this genome sequence, as you and I and how many other other people there are in the world, let's say there's, I don't know, I think it's somewhere around so many billion. Let's say, let's assume they all get their genome sequenced. And we have all this data, your data and my data, and it's it's all contained in a in a in a, a chip, uh, a file, and it's all housed um, in in a in, in a computer base. And artificial intelligence looks at my DNA and looks at your DNA and millions or billions of other people's DNA and compares it. Well. That has to be managed, much as my BMW notice has to be managed. And what I would in foresee is that if you have a genome therapy and it works and you're about my age and you have some other DNA comparisons that are like mine, this data would would compare that and say, hey, this will give us a clue as to what's going to happen with Kerry in his body, and let's, let's use this data to improve his life. And let's notify him through his doctor and, and, and have this therapy done on him. And so I foresee that somebody has to organize this, house it, and then communicate with it. So I went searching for the next Microsoft of the medical field, the, the, the company that was going to manage all this DNA. And I came across them, and I think I have. And what I learned is they're involved in what the world thinks their segment of it is, a $4 trillion industry before 2040. That's when they project that all of this will be up and running and in place and, and taking function. And then what I realized is in my research was this isn't only for the human body. This is for corn. This is for wheat. They have DNA. They have the ability to alter their DNA to make them more drought resistant. It's also relative to uh, the cannabis industry. The cannabis industry is crazy about this. Though to make their crops, cannabis, weed, more potent, less potent, to stimulate different elements, do you want to be happy? Do you want to be intellectual? The cannabis industry is very interested at this. And this company is working to manage, to help the cannabis industry deliver to you what you want, that you don't get the wrong kind of high. As I said, it's all to do, it's, it's very involved in all farm crops, industrial chemicals, how to make a, I guess, an oil more efficient, um, and, and, and how to make um, better, they're already working on insulin, the, the artificial production of insulin. So they have their programs in two, oh, and then they are also working in cosmetics. You know, uh, I have a wife who's concerned about the wrinkles on her face. If, if they can manage the cells on her face, they can take the wrinkles out. So the applications of this management of DNA, genomes, cells is enormous, enormous. And there is one company that I have found that is the leader in it. Now, the other thing that comes into play here is, is the chemical security. You, you can imagine that if someone 
had this capability to manage the 30 trillion, yes, that's spelled with a T, cells in your body, they could do a lot of harm. So the government is very involved with this company to make sure that what they put out is coherent or is in line with national security. So as I look at it, I always look at a company and say, okay, how are they going to make their money? They have, they, they have software. So, so I, again, I see this as Editus comes up with a cure for cancer and they want to deliver this edit into my body. Well, they need some guidance as to how to do it and how to do it right. And how will they know to do it right? Because of it, how it's been done in the past, how that information has been fed into software, analyzed, and through artificial intelligence and machine learning, they just get better and better and better at it. So they have that. They have the ability to design, redesign DNA, rewrite DNA, inserting DNA, or the, the, the therapy into the body, and then testing and measuring uh, for cell performance. Then they have another, which is what they call their code base, and that is the library of all the information that they've gathered over the years, and now I'm speaking in the, in the, um, the future, so that as we go down this path of genome sequencing and genome editing, we learn and, and improve the performance, and they have the code that does that. So I bought this. Um, in fact, what I did was I released a video to what I call members only, the members of my tribe who subscribe to my Discord and pay me a, a monthly fee to get access to the information that I have been able to get access to. How do I get access to this information? I pay for it. I pay researchers to feed me information so that I can then share it with my tribe. So I did this back on, I believe it was um, the 10th, no, the 11th. I shared this and I shared the name of the company with the, the, my Discord who are a part of my Platinum membership. I do this a, once or twice a week. That's, I can only do so much research. I do have help. I pay people to help me find the stocks that I want to share. Why am I telling you all this? because I want you to make better investment decisions. I want you to share in my research. What I'm going to do is I'm going to invite you to come to our Discord. You'll find a link to the Discord. And then I'm going to invite you to join our Platinum, and I'm going to then give you access to the research that I've put together. I'll send you a PDF file, which will tell you what the stock is, but more importantly, how, who the stock is, not what the stock is, who the stock is, and why I believe this is a 100x stock. Uh, it is the Microsoft of the healthcare revolution. It, it's really that simple. Uh, if you don't like, if you don't use Windows, then it's the Apple of uh, uh, of the the digital revolution. Whatever the operating system, and I guess that's what it's going to be. It's going to be the operating system of genome therapy. You, uh, again, once we all get sequenced. Once we all know what's going on in our body, once we all know that we have a propensity 
for cancer because our great, 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 great grandfather worked in a coal mine, smoked cigarettes, chewed tobacco, and stood out in the sun too much. Okay? And that's all in our cell, as it is everybody in our bloodline in the past. And so this technology, genome sequencing, protein sequencing, will identify that and understand it and compare it to the billions of other people who have had their genome sequenced, and that'll be it. That will put me, my body, in the same category as a new BMW. They will know what's going on and then know, compare it to every other BMW in the world and notify me of how to live a better life. So that's what I want to do for you. Come to Best of Us Investors, find or, or go to do this. Go to the link to the Discord. Go to the Discord, and uh, we'll walk you through how you can get this kind of information on a weekly basis, okay? Um, I hope you feel that's fair. I know you're accustomed to getting everything for free, but I think it's a win-win situation if I pay for it, analyze it, pay people to analyze it, and then share it with you. You tell me what you think.